King Vegeta signing on. So this is going to be like a review of Midnight Gospel. I thought Midnight Gospel was a very entertaining show. It was very unique. It's not something that most people are going to be into. Uh, it's something that you have to watch the show at least three or two times to fucking actually understand what's going on, right? Like, so it's more of a... It, the person who created Adventure Time also created this show, and it's it's very different. It's more of a mature take on uh, Adventure Time plus Rick and Morty plus all these, like, wacky concepts. And it's done in a podcast style where, basically, in this show, actual plot is happening. Like, Chansey is going to different universes different realities and he sits in his fucking universe simulator or whatever and they actually have a backstory going on but the show basically makes the plot fight for like attention the visuals throw you off so much that sometimes you don't listen to the podcast setup that they have and sometimes they're really on some deep stuff and or you know something that'll make you at least think while the animation is going over like president baby killing person or shit like that and it's like the show is really good i saw a lot of reviews and i thought well these people i think missed the whole point of the show that it's supposed to be distracting it's supposed to do this it's supposed to be different it's not supposed to be like oh well this show is like this show no we I didn't want an exact copy and paste of Adventure Time with darker elements. I didn't want that. Like, but so what ended up happening is I ultimately watched the show like full the full season like two or three times. And I, as I sat down and looked at it, I was like, well, each episode individually doesn't connect to the other. You could watch any of these episodes out of order and still come away with the same thing that you came away with if you watched them all in a row like you know dealing with certain topics like death and you know religion and reincarnation and all these things it it really it's a show that is not meant for everybody and it will it will traumatize some people in the point to where not like oh i can never watch this show again or i'm hurt but traumatize them in where wow i never really thought about that i'm um and you know you can kind of get in your feelings because the last episode you know it goes over the fact that his mom died and like you could tell the episode had a lot of care put into it it was the final and it was really great but you could have just started the episode with that and continued it on and nothing would have really changed except maybe like the little subplot from the animation but this is one of those shows where if you realize that if you just cut off the tv and you had your controller hooked up and you was listening to it on playstation 4 or if you was just listening to the audio you could still come away with pretty much the same message like that you did ultimately you would miss certain key points in animation but this is one of those shows where it doesn't even really matter the story doesn't matter it's what the characters are saying and it's like this show is is so unique and i really wish they would have had more than like one season um I don't know, I'd have to say that I give, I give the show a good 9 or 8 out of 10. You know, there was some stuff where I was like, you know, these this show could do better. But, like, that's just perf- personal preference. <laughs> but uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, I never really asked y'all that shit because I really don't care too much. But, hey, Midnight Gospel is one of the greatest stories 